The black skimmer is an amazing bird that is best known for its ability to skim the surface of the water trying to catch prey. Their hunting technique is helped by their bill, which has a much longer lower mandible than upper. While skimming along, they lower the lower mandible below the surface. Then, when the bill detects a fish, it snaps shut and captures the prey. Skimmers are colonial water birds, which means that they nest in large colonies with hundreds of pairs occupying a small space. In Texas, they nest primarily on bay islands, though there are a few mainland colonies. These birds are sensitive to environmental and human disturbance, and therefore are good indicator species for overall bay health and water quality. If the skimmers are in trouble, that indicates that the bay is in trouble. Sadly, the number of nesting pairs of black skimmers in Texas has declined by 70% over the past 40 years. Similar declines have been documented in other areas. Before we started studying them, we didn't know the cause of the decline, but we suspected that human disturbance during the nesting season was a large factor. There are other issues that need to be teased out of the complex set of environmental factors that could be impacting the species as a whole, however. The decline could also be related to food shortages or environmental contaminants or other undocumented factors. In 2018, Gulf Coast Bird Observatory began monitoring island skimmer colonies in West Galveston and East Matagorda Bay and banding chicks to assess their survival and movements. We visit the colonies once a week and count the number of adults, nests, and chicks from a boat, using video cameras and photographs to verify our count. This enables us to determine how many chicks fledge and also document colony abandonment and failure, and attempt to determine the causes of disturbance. The goal of this project is to help determine why black skimmer populations are in decline because this decline is most likely related to human factors affecting bay health, this project aims to not only determine the reason for black skimmer population decline, but also contribute to overall bay health. To learn more about the black skimmer study, let's go out on the Gulf Coast Bird Observatory boat with our research director, Sue Heath, coastal biologist, Taylor, and biology intern, Marissa. We also had Elena, a biology graduate student from Texas A&M University, joining us to collect blood and feather samples to determine if contaminants are affecting the birds. We headed out in East Matagorda Bay and boated to the Skimmer Islands. These islands were formed from dredge spoil dumping and are slowly eroding away. The skimmers and other water birds prefer to nest on these shelly islands, making them incredibly important but disappearing habitat. As we approach, the skimmers are obviously disturbed by our presence, calling and flying in circles. When we warn boaters and beachgoers not to approach bird colonies, this is a big reason why. The mere presence of humans makes the birds anxious and they waste energy flying around when they should be incubating, caring for their chicks, or hunting. If an area has too much human disturbance, the birds can even abandon it entirely. We anchor our boat and hop out to catch the chicks. We only catch the chicks that can't fly. We catch them gently in our nets or pick them up in a safe hold, then bring them back to the boat. Sue keeps the skimmers in a laundry basket with a towel over it to keep them cool and calm. Then, one by one, Sue and Taylor take them out of the basket and put them in a very sophisticated instrument called a hat taco. Taylor places two bands on these birds. One is a red band with three white letters and numbers. This will help Sue tell the birds apart through her binoculars. The other band is a metal band with a long, unique code that no other bird in the world has. These unique codes will be logged in a banding database along with the codes of millions of other birds across the country. Next, Sue takes some measurements. She measures the bill length on the lower and upper mandible, the weight, and so on. These measurements help her understand the health and growth rate of the bird, and also the overall health of the population. Finally, Elena takes some blood and feather samples. She'll analyze these later in the lab to determine if contaminants are affecting the birds. After the birds are banded and all of the data is collected, we set the chicks back free on their island. They waddle off back to their parents and show off their new bands. 
After we do this at four islands, Sue has banded over 50 chicks and we are ready to head back home. These birds will be banded for the rest of their lives and Sue will be able to see where they travel, how many of them return, how many of them survive, and which of them successfully raise chicks in the future. This information will give us a better picture of how the population is doing and what challenges these birds face. We can only help them if we fully understand what's hurting them. To learn more about Gulf Coast Bird Observatory and the Black Skimmer Study or our other research projects, visit us at www.gcbo.org.